In Hattrick, the players are hackers and their objective is to mark on this magic numpad a 3 digit password. This password can be formed either by placing 3 markers on the same key or their sum should be 15, which is easy to follow because each row, each column and each diagonal is 15. Before I start to tell you how to play the hack trick, I'll tell you how we mark the keys on the keypad. During setup, one of the players will play a card. This has no action effect. It is just the starting card of a card sequence or row. From now on, any player who plays a card to this sequence, he adds the last two numbers and marks it on the keypad. White plays a zero, he marks it. Red plays a four, he marks it. White plays a two, he marks it. It is simple as that. A very simple mechanics and we only need to remember three little things. First, it is not allowed to play a similar card as the last card in the sequence. Every time we mark a key, there can be one or two, two markers on it. White plays a one, he marks it. He leaves both there. Red plays a five, there is another marker on it, he captures it. Simple as that and that's it. Now, let's see how we actually play the Hectric base game. The players form the magic numpad. Why is it magic? Because the sum of each row, column and diagonal is 15. After that, they place the markers in front of them. They choose a dealer, who after shuffling the 18 cards, deals 4 to the other player, 3 to himself, flips 2 cards, which are out in, the game, in this game, and from the rest he makes a drawing pile. The player who got 4 cards places the starting card, and after that we declare the sum in our hand. 6. 8 for me. So it's my turn again. At the beginning of your turn you may throw in one of the captured markers if you have one and ask for the sum in your opponent's hand. Uh, after that you may choose to draw a card if you have 3 or less cards in your hand or to play a card and mark it. After playing a card and only then you may throw in one of your own markers and by saying play you force the other player to play a card or by saying block you block him so he cannot force you to play a card let's see how it actually goes I mark it now I have a captured marker play he has to play a card it's the beginning of my turn tell me the sum Four. Four. All right. Play. So, the game goes on until one of the players reaches the magic three. If uh, in the magic three there is not the big one, then it's one excellent point. If in the winning three, one of the markers is the double and it was not placed as the last one then you earn two excellence points after reaching five excellence points you are the ultimate hacker and you have won the entire game good luck let me tell you some secrets of this game first of all uh, there are keys on this numpad to which lead only one combination this, this key is 1, 8, 2, 9. There are keys to which lead two combinations, 3, 4, 6, 7. And there is a single key to which lead three different combinations, which is 5. So pay attention to the color of the keys, this will help you. And uh, in order to defend or attack your positions. For example, to defend position number 8, make sure the last card in the sequence is not a 3 or a 5. Or to defend position number six, make sure the, la the last card is a, is a zero or a three. You will soon realize that a weak hand can be fatal sometimes. You can run out of cards and then your opponent comes twice in a row. Let's see. It is Red's turn. He plays a two. He marks it and he forces the other player to play. 
Now he plays the three. He marks it. He has to draw the other player and plays the last card and wins. Let me tell you another advice. Keep your eye on the card sequence and pop some questions without hesitation. Often, even if your opponent has two or three cards, you can deduct um, what kind of cards he has. Let's see, it is Red's turn. He asks for the sum. Seven. Seven. Seven can be made out of a three and a four, or a five and a two. Since all three trees are out, uh, so the opponent can only have a five and a two. He plays the two, marks it, and says play. The other player can play only the number five, because the two cannot be played after a two. Then he plays the card number three, marks it, and wins the game. There are many more trick tips and tricks, but I'll let you to discover this. The best hackers, depending on the situation, they use around 25 tricks. They even keep an eye if when you draw a card, where you put it in your hand. So, in the end, I would like you to draw your attention on the fact that this game is virused. After a few games, you won't let it go, that's for sure.